Hey there, this is Sean Faulkner with Skyflow. In this video, I'm going to give a quick demo of Skyflow's built-in privacy-preserving data types. These data types make it super simple to create and design a data privacy vault for any use case. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm currently logged into Skyflow Studio, and I'm going to start by creating a vault from scratch. When I do this, the vault is pre-populated with a simple table that only has one column, the Skyflow ID. When I click on the new column link, I'm prompted to first choose a data type. We support basic data types like you'd find in any conventional database, things like strings, integers, booleans, and dates. But we've also pre-built over 50 Skyflow data types that cover most of the common types of sensitive user data you may be storing. These include user data like zip code, credit card expiration dates, coordinates, driver's license number, and many others. The data types span all types of sensitive data like PII, PCI, and PHI. I'm going to show you what a few of these look like by starting with the name data type, which could be someone's first, middle, or last name. You can see that the underlying data type is a string. You could define this data type based on the basic data types we support, but with the Skyflow data types, we've done a lot of the work for you. For example, we've already set a regex on the name column to evaluate new data that is inserted into the vault. Across the top, each data type has various options for privacy and security controls. Under redaction, you control the default view for data that exists in this column. This could be plain text, fully redacted, and masked. For a name data type, we've automatically set it to mask the information, showing only the first and last letter of the name. Each column can support encryption and encrypted operations. Skyflow keeps your data encrypted in transit and at rest, but through polymorphic encryption, we also enable operations on encrypted data. For example, in the case of a name, the default setting is to encrypt the data in the column and also allow exact match queries on the encrypted data without ever decrypting it. In the last tab, you control tokenization. We support a variety of different tokenization schemes. For name, the default setting is to tokenize the data as a deterministic UUID. You can of course change this to suit your application and business needs. Let's take a look at another built-in data type. This time we're going to look at email. Similar to name, the built-in data type for email is a string and is pre-configured with a regular expression for validating new column data. If we look under redaction, as we saw with the name, the email column has masking set as the default view for column data. The mask will show the first and last letters of the first part of the email, as well as the domain. And under encryption, the column is encrypted and encrypted exact match is enabled. Switching over to tokenization, the column is tokenized with a format-preserving deterministic token. This will replace something like John Doe at gmail.com with something like bwe09f at fg78.com, which looks like an email but can't be used to identify the original user. All right, so we looked at name and the email data types. Let's take a look at one last example. This time we'll search for income. This is a slightly more complex data type than the ones we looked at before. The income data type is a data structure with multiple properties. Each level and property has its own set of security and privacy controls. For example, frequency is an enum with possible values like annual, monthly, and weekly. Under redaction, the frequency default is plain text, so it's not a super sensitive field. The column is encrypted and encrypted exact match is enabled. Tokenization is disabled. You can of course change any of these settings to suit your needs. Switching over to the amount property, the base type of an amount is an integer. The default redaction is plain text, and under encryption, the column is encrypted. But since this is a number, we've enabled additional encrypted operations like aggregation and comparison. This means you could compute the average income of your customers without ever decrypting the data. Tokenization, like we have for frequency, is disabled. For the final income property, currency code, it's an enum based on an ISO standard of recognized three-letter currency codes. This was a quick introduction to Skyflow's built-in data types. These data types are designed to help you get started quickly creating a Skyflow data privacy vault. You can learn more about Skyflow at skyflow.com. Thanks so much for watching.